My name is Hugh Russell. Uh, at present, I'm deputy picture editor in the Irish News. Uh, in my former life, as I call it, uh, I used to box, uh, picking up medals at the Commonwealth Games in '78, Olympic bronze in 1980 for Ireland, and going on to turn professional, winning two British titles, both at flyweight and bantamweight, and winning the one state belt outright. I won the first Irish title when I was 11, uh, at four stone. And I was also picked that time as being the best boxer in Ireland. So I was the youngest and the lightest person ever to get that. So I suppose starting off from 11 and being Irish champion and being champion right through your whole career till you retire sort of made it a wee bit easier to stay in the sport. In the Olympic Games is probably the biggest event, I was going to say sporting event, but it's probably the biggest event in the world and draws media attention from all around the world. I think everybody goes to the Olympic Games. Uh, hoping to win a gold medal. I mean, if you don't go hoping to win a gold medal, I don't think you should be there. You know, so nine people from the games ever started in boxing, to be one of them, nine or ten, whatever it's going to be, it's a very exclusive club and it's great to be in it. Uh, as good as it is to be an Olympian, uh, to be an Olympic medalist is something special. And I don't think that's something that uh, is ever forgotten about. I mean, all the correspondence that I get around the world still sent to me. It's all because I've got an Olympic medal. It's people looking for a picture or an autograph because you're an Olympic medalist. Boxing to me was always, you always needed something to drive you. It's a very, very hard sport. Uh, nobody can take that away. Uh, but to have a carrot to do something to win. I've been to the Commonwealth Games and got a medal. I've now been to the Olympics and got a medal. I've done the pieces in Irish International. I've all my best. I've done all the wee things that I always wanted to do. And then the next big thing that I wanted to want to try and win a long steel belt. Uh, out of all the trophies in boxing, I think the long steel belt is probably the prettiest and certainly the most sought after trophy in professional boxing. And that's what I set out to do. An Olympic medal was always a dream. Uh, and after that, I suppose my long steel belt was always something that I wanted. Uh, I would say if it was the other, only ever able to do one of them, which would be very, I imagine my Olympic medal probably means more to me. Uh, on, on the world stage, I mean, it's, it's massively recognised. I mean, the, once, you, once you mention the Olympics to anybody, no matter what country in the world, I mean, no matter what sport, you mention the Olympics and you say you've got a medal, I mean, people sort of raise their eyebrows and just smile. You know, as good as a long steel belt is and how pretty it is and how much it means to me personally, uh, it doesn't have the same clout as, uh, as an Olympic man.